Hey guys, Fotaku here. Yeah, happy Easter, and I was thinking, why not do a cosplay prop tutorial? Like Vega's Claw from Street Fighter 2. So first off, you'll need some foam. Do be sure to use a box cutter or X-Acto knife to get rid of these little chunks. We're going to use the Dremel to shape out the claws with the AVA foam. To be sure to use protection while Dremeling. And use this bit in order to add a smooth finish. Leave these ends unmarked, we'll need them for later. Using the medium foam, we're going to cut out the arm guard. After that, we're going to be getting a water and wood glue solution that we're going to apply onto the foam, such as what we'll be doing with the claws. And this is necessary not just to build a texture so that it can absorb the paint better, but also to keep it from being very, very flimsy as it is when we first cut it. And from here, we need to add the tape just to be sure that we can still do the silver painting. And then from there, we can move on to the arm guard, of which has been coming around nicely so far. What we're going to be cutting are these little uh, covers for the uh, claws to make it look like they're sprouting out from it. Apply with contact cement. The claws seem to have come out right after applying both the primer and the silver spray paint. We're going to be doing the same over with the arm guard after we apply also the wood glue onto it. From there, we move on to the primer and then finally we give it that nice golden finish with the spray paint. Now it's time to attach the claw to the arm guard itself. We're going to be using the contact cement and applying it to the spots that I specified earlier we wouldn't touch and I even allow to get spray paint in order to place it inside of these holes right here. One last detail we're going to be adding is this handle to the arm guard in order to more properly secure it while wearing. And with that, we have the completion of Vega's claw arm. Thank you again for watching and do be sure to stay tuned for more fun beyond the lens.